Hello and welcome everybody. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your Gmail into your Microsoft Outlook. First, proceeding with the configuration of the Gmail into Outlook, okay, there are two important things which you need to know. So, before going, you need to know about POP3 and IMAP. So, there are two types of account which you can create. The first is the POP3 and the second is the IMAP. So, let's see what are the two differences, basic differences between IMAP and POP3. So if you're using in uh, configuring Gmail using an IMAP account, so IMAP is like you have everything in sync with the Gmail account. If you delete a mail here, your mail from the web browser will also be deleted. If you create a folder into your Outlook, it will be created into your Gmail web account also. So if you're using your uh, email access from multiple devices, uh, I recommend you to use an IMAP and uh, you need to have an internet connection every time you access your mails and what is pop3 is pop3 stores your mails locally so every time you know there is no need of an internet connection to see your mail just uh, if you want to send and receive mails you need an internet connection and pop3 is not in sync with your G gmail it means if you delete a mail from your locally it will be deleted locally not from your gmail server and if it is good if you are accessing mails only from a single device and it is good if you are you need in constant access of your emails uh, regardless of your internet connectivity if you don't have an internet connectivity also you can view your mails so based upon your requirements you can choose imap or pop3 i will show you the configuration for imap as well as pop3 so the first thing what you need to do is you need to go to the settings of your gmail account so you are in the top right corner you'll see this icon so just click on this and go to the settings so once you're there just select the tab forwarding and pop slash imap so here you what you need to make sure is you have the pop as enabled as well as the imap as enabled if it is not enabled you can enable it by clicking enable pop for all mails and you can select this enable IMAP so enabling pop in IMAP and you are having an option also here so when messages are accessed with pop what you need to do if you want to keep a copy in the gmail you can keep the copy or if you want to delete the copy you can also delete the cap copy as soon as your mails will be downloaded into your local system it will delete the copy there so just go if you are having and save the settings here I've already done the settings uh, already it is by default it is there so there is no need so the next step what you need to do is you need to go to your outlook and in the outlook go to this file and click on account settings and click on account settings so here you have to create a new mail so click on the new mail and what you need to do is you need to type in your name type in your email address your gmail email address and your password and just click next so it will automatically do the settings for you save this password if you want So it will do the settings automatically and when the settings are finished uh, your IMAP account will be configured. So here you can see your connection is established. You can click on finish and you can also select this account as default. So I will show you here you can see your gmail account is configured. Your gmail account you can see the inbox. So here you can see the test mail from Microsoft Outlook. So this in this way how you in this is the way how you configure an uh, IMAP account. I'll show you how to configure a POP3 account also. The first what you need to do is you need to go to the account settings again and you need to delete the account. So just click on remove. So it will be removed. Just close this 
and what you need to again go to account settings and again click on new here what you need to do is don't enter all these details so here don't fill in all these details just click on manual setup check this box and click on next and here select the last option which is the pop or imap and click on next type in your name type in your email address select this as pop3 and here what you need to do is for your incoming mail server you need to write down pop.gmail.com and for your outgoing mail server smtp you need to write smtp dot gmail dot and typing your email address once again here and the password and what you need to do is check this box remember password and click on this more settings so here what you need to do is for outgoing server you need to select this and you need to select the first checkbox use the same setting as the incoming mail server and in advanced section what you need to do is for port 3 you need to change the port so this is the port number and the authentication is ssl so it's 995 so i'll add 995 here and i'll check this box the server required encrypted connection ssl and for smtp you have 465 so and 465 here and i'll select use the call interpret connection as ssl and the server timeout as five minutes or six minutes and leave everything as it is click on ok and just click next so this will test your uh, connection and once the connection is tested it will configure the pop3 account so it is done it says that the all tests are complete successfully click close to continue click close and click on finish and click close this so here you can see your pop3 account is there so in this way you configure your imap and pop3 account for the gmail inside outlook i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing